Alright guys, what's the crack? This is Gar, and this is Gar's Wee Beasties. And I have a bit of kind of showing around for you today, and a bit of explaining to do. Those who, again, those of you following me on Twitter will maybe know a little bit about what happened. But basically, I've been doing a lot of work on a lot of things uh, around this world. A lot of work. Uh, I'm trying to deliberately not show you what I've been doing most work on. And basically... Uh, I had an episode kind of explaining it all and where I did actually even more work on various different things. I am trying to slowly turn this series into more of a world tour type episode with showcasing of my projects and stuff. I, uh, there will be Let's Play elements of course, I want to teach you stuff and everything but as I'm slowly researching my own sort of tutorial series, I'm kind of thinking of, you know, turning this into more of a showcase of the builds I make and stuff, especially the beasts, the beasties, as I like to call them. Some of you will have noticed this over here, and some of you will also have noticed that right about now-ish, I am planning on putting, um, kind of picture in picture of some of the stuff that, excuse me, some of the stuff that I have recorded whilst I was building these, just to show you that, you know, it is legitimate, I am doing it all, uh, just to kind of show you what I am getting up to, I guess. Uh, what else can I show you? Well, I guess I could fly out there and show you. What's that, Gar? Fly out there and show you, you say? Why, yes, because... Oh, that's really... It's kind of running out. But I've got a jetpack. But anyway, I'll just fly out here and show you this anyway, because I might as well. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of this distance. Uh, hopefully I can make it. Yeah. yeah. So basically, as you can see from there, I have taken the oil that was there and put it in that by pumping it all across. All of these machines are back in my actual base now. And I've been slowly refining it. I need a better fuel source. I keep running out of fuel for these sterling engines. But these two sterling engines here aren't two that I crafted. They are two that I uh, stole from my basement. And I, I, you know, you may notice that I'm deliberately not trying to show you something here, guys. Um, which is definitely the case. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So I've been killing a lot of pigs as well, which is why I've got this. And I've been collecting various sheep that seem to be spawning. But oh yeah, we're kind of up here on... One of the things I wanted to show you, this, my tier 5 blaze spawner. Now, I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to show you guys the crafting of this, but yeah, as I said, those of you who follow me on Twitter will understand. I recorded the entire episode, but then the audio from the microphone completely got lost. I don't know if it was corrupted or what, but yeah, I cannot seem to open it, convert it. I, I asked my Twitter followers to help me. We could not revive that audio. It was a real shame because I did a lot of stuff in that episode. In the corner at the moment, you'll see uh, the footage where me and Dave actually just relaxing, playing on the server, we're running around the nether, and we find ourselves a blaze spawner, which is really, really awesome. And then what I've actually, I, I, yeah, I keep forgetting what I've done. I did this in the episode too. So I, so basically what I did was, oh, you'll get a hint of what I just built there, which is a shame. Maybe I'll try and block it out. So you'll see that I've got the, this, I, we find a blaze spawner, right? And we took it back through my portal. And you'll see that in the little clips in the video in the corner. I also then went on a massive finding mission. You'll notice that I do have all the waypoints turned off because I will eventually be removing them because I went on a massive finding mission and got all the spawners and put them in here. Now there were a lot more. There were a lot more including a skeleton spawner which I think I've placed under the ocean at the moment for safekeeping or maybe it's still in the nether. Basically I was doing some experiments and when you bring it into the nether it spawns weather skeletons which is amazing, like absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I've got a lot of these yet, but what I basically did was I used the Soul Forge mod um, to combine... I made myself a tier 4 cave spider spawner by destroying about 3 or 4 of those cave spider spawners. And then I made myself a tier 1 uh, blaze spawner, and then I combined the two in the anvil that I crafted myself there. And also put a little zombie head on top of it because there's a, there's a sword I have somewhere don't know if I can find an eye. I really need to sort out all my chests whenever I get my storage area on the go. Come on, where is it? Is it in here? I think it actually might over be about my other project. But anyway, it's got Vorpal on it, so that's how I got the zombie head. That's how that dropped. Uh, what are we doing now? We are showing you something. What are we showing? Oh yeah. Um, in here we have the one remaining soul shard. It was actually quite funny because I went up, I had my original blaze spawner in there. 
and I went up to kill a blaze in order to turn it into a blaze spawner and a spider spawned in the darkness and I killed it so that's why I've got one on a regular spider which is a bit of a bummer because I totally didn't want it I wanted that to be blaze but anyway because you get three of these for every diamond you smelt in the soul forge that I've put here uh, let me just show you how to make this guys soul forge uh, R and it's just obsidian with stone and some of this corrupted essence. And this corrupted essence is just glowstone and vile dust. And the vile dust is made from smelting soul sand. So, you know, where did I put all that stuff? Probably in here, actually. You'll notice my inter inventory is pretty kind of bare at the moment. And that's because I have been holding up with a lot of these. And that's because I'm holding off on showing you the real project, which I intend to show you. No, I... Yeah guys, this is my tree project. This is the big tree and I've actually run out of electric jetpack. So I will show you how I've been charging that at the moment because I also crafted me one of these. There's a lot of work to catch up on guys and I, it wouldn't be quite so much if it wasn't for the way that the audio got corrupted or whatever. But anyway, this is my big tree project. And as some of you here are long time subscribers of me know, I'm a big fan of the YouTuber DocM77 and he famously made himself a really big tree too. His is bigger than mine, definitely. He called his the morning wood, i.e. the morning wood, um, because, well, it's a funny pun, and also because it was rising in the sun, sunrise, sunrise would rise over it. Mine is a sunset tree, so I'm thinking of calling it the morning wood, haha, -ha. as a bit of a, an homage to him, and also uh, kind of given it the context of what I plan on doing with it which is definitely put it building a big cobweb down here and putting a spider there for some will creation for some more beasts so yeah as you can see uh, let's go charge our let's go charge our thing and let's go take a good look at it so let me explain how this uh, system is working actually right now so the tier 5 oh my god my headset's about to die that would be a disaster so the tier 5 blaze spawners um, are really Tier 5 spawners in general are really awesome because um, because it's a manufactured spawner, uh, unless it's tier 5, it wouldn't do, it wouldn't spawn the mobs in a, what's the word, in an environment outside of the dimension that they originally come from. So I need a tier 5 to do blazes in here. Secondly, it spawns a shitload. <laughs> Thirdly, it responds to redstone, which is why you can see that there is a very ghetto, dirt-covered pipe here, which I didn't need, but I just kind of, I don't know, I kind of like the look of it, and I like the fact that this looks all temporary and ghetto in a kind of weird way. I will be building a really cool base, but it's nice to have these, I don't know, it's nice to be ghetto for a bit. Uh, the fourth thing is that it spawns a ton of them. I think I mentioned that, didn't I? Well, anyway, the fourth or the fifth thing is that when they die, from water, which is really crucial, because when no, when they normally die from water, they don't drop blaze rods, but in tier 5, we'll create ones that do. So hopefully you'll see that. There we go, blaze rod went down into the transposer. So let's just turn this off, because we've already got tons of blaze rods. By tons, I mean probably like about a stack, which isn't all that many, but it's as many as we even ever... This isn't... this. I don't want this to be our um, proper source of, you know, doing things like... It's it's a bit hacky for a start, and also in order to maintain my interest in this in in, in the feed the beast, I'm planning on doing sort of separate separate sort of energy supplies for almost every system, uh, just because I kind of like the idea of having different types of energy and using all the different types of engines and just kind of you know exploring everything. So hopefully this will charge soonish. It's a bit slow and just a generator. Um, 
especially whenever you have to generate the pyre itself. You know, there's not enough in the like. It goes so basically the generator has a bit of a battery. I mean, I know I could get a bat box, uh, but I kind of don't want to do too much work on this whilst it's all temporary. Today's projects are going to involve lighting up the uh, thingamajigger, the actual leaves bit, and kind of showing you guys a bit more about the build, and then maybe building some f barrels and starting up our uh, actual uh, storage place over there. So, in order to light up the thing, uh, the leaves, we want to use these cool things, which are lamps. And we want to do inverted lamps, uh, and we want to probably have probably green inverted lamps. So for the green inverted lamps, we need glass panes, redstone torches, and green lumar. Now most of you guys have probably seen this already, but green lumar is made up of the dye that's used plus uh, redstone and glowstone. So we're probably going to need two stacks of green, a stack of redstone, and a stack of glowstone. So let's get all of these things together. We've got our stack of redstone here and a stack of glowstone. That's all pretty good. Need to get more glowstone. But we're okay for now. Now we need to get a stack of the dies. This is going to be a bit harder. Can I can I transmute white die? Because I think I have probably almost a stack, or at least I could probably get a stack of. I could, oh, oh, I'm so close to two stacks of that. Got any more bones? Where's my many stone again? I think I left my Minium Stone over there. Andy accidentally killed me, <laughs> and we lost my Minium Stone, so he gave me his Minium Stone. Let's just make sure. Let's just use whatever jetpack we have. So I used his mini. So he gave me his Minium Stone, and it has no usage on it. So you'll probably notice that my Minium Stone has no use, but that's why, guys. Just letting you know. Uh, let's get the jetpack out here. It's more or less alright. And yeah, I actually lost quite a bit of footage. I lost this really cool sort of little video where. We updated the hub station a little bit with some heads of everybody. So I've still got these chests down here. I've gone through a ton of wood. So much wood that I decided to actually, you know, enchant and name this wee crappy axe just because I've been, like, using it so much. Um, thought it was funny, even though it only has an unbreaking one enchant. There it is, yes, many of stone. And also, there it is. There's the sword that has the Vorpal on it. So there we go. Pretty good stuff. Let's put that back there, I guess. So we've oh and we got some more bones awesome so hopefully um, let's put uh, that back in there I guess hopefully we can transmute white damn it hmm let's look maybe it's possible let's look at uses I thought because it's a technically a die we might be able to do something cool with it. We just need two stacks of some sort of die. Come on, come into my inventory. Go. We need two stacks of some sort of die. Well, I could use the bone meal to just, you know, get lots and lots of flyers. I might do that. Um, get myself a good sickle. And go and do that off camera, perhaps. Find a sort of area. Yeah, I might do that. God, there's so many enchanted sickles. Because of basically, you'll see. I you think you would have seen here. I've got yeah some enchanted shears left. Um, that's enchanted with level thirty, believe it or not. <laughs> um, what you do is you enchant the book, and then you can use it on again on a thing. So like overall, I think that cost me something like thirty nine levels or something daft. Um, because I've been using the shears to get a lot of leaves. Like I mean a lot of leaves. I will try and explain how I built that a little bit later. I've been missing out on saplings a little bit so you've got to kind of balance it. You can't take all the leaves all the time or else you start running out of saplings and you won't be able to build any more bloody trees. So I've got quite a lot of leaves left but I think, I don't know, it must have been like f five or six double chests worth. Like I, I, I can't quite, it's a ton. It's an absolute ton. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to go to the hub station and we are going to go to a special place that I know has a lot of flyers. Uh, so here's the hub station, we've updated a little bit. Uh, we've, Nipte's built a really cool library, and as you can see, we used the Vorpal enchant that we got on 
uh, a sword that Andy got, um, and then we hacked in a better one to make sure that it always broke, um, to get heads of pretty much everybody that plays on the server right now. There's a few people missing, uh, there, but most people who play on the server at the moment have a, I think everybody who plays on the server at the moment has a head here. And we are going to go to, not Kai's, not Cheebs, not, not, uh, well, actually, yeah, definitely. <laughs> we're going to go to Elder Shadow Ladies. Uh, Flyery Paradise, that's where we're going to have a lot of flyers. I don't know why three of the girls that are on the server are all in one place, but anyway. We like to put them in the corner. Uh, okay, it's dark. Great. Um, let's get our, my thing out here. And just go to town. Uh, I feel really bad, but I'm going to use bone meal. I'll get back on it all a bit later. I've got brought myself lots of bone meal, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um... Okay, so I will be back in a bit, guys. Okay, so let's take a stock on what we've got here. We've got probably not quite enough, but let's let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, well, we do have a whole stack of yellow, so that gives us... Yeah, we got plenty. Awesome. Awesome socks. So we can just take the, the uh, two stacks of yellows that we got here. Uh, I just realized as I was doing this... In fact, you probably have noticed, guys, that... Um, you, sorry, not no, just you might have you might have seen that I uh, suddenly went to daylight. My graphics drivers crashed, which is very very weird and not all that desirable. And as that was happening, and as I was coming back, I realized why didn't I just make myself one of those dark rooms that uh, I made in my old Tekken series, where basically you can spam uh, bone meal into a dark room and then the flowers automatically come up, which is really cool. But anyway, we've done it now, so we're gonna go back home and start crafting some lamps just really simple. I know. I realize I think I'm going to need another stack of redstone for the uh, torches. And it's also going to require a stack of sticks. I have, a, I have some sticks, but not a stack. So we will get, uh, let's see, this is, about, this is probably, that, oh, I thought it was going to be perfect there, but it's not. But anyway, um, yeah, so uh, let's see if we can do this by memory. Let's first of all make the Stack of redstone torches. Then let's start transmuting. Okie dokie. We need to go for green, I think is the color we're looking for. Black, I think we're close. Am I like losing out here? Where have I have I like lost out in that progress in that process somehow? 64, 64, 64, oh, I've still got some orange ones. Okay, that was that freaked me out there for a minute. Uh, 64, 64, 64, awesome. Okay, so let's just, I guess, don't need to do all of them. Um, 22, what do I need? 22, why is my brain hurting so much? I need 42, so I need 10. Okay, um, there we go, two stacks of 64, awesome. So let's get the Lumar, okay, redstone, glowstone, Lumar, awesome socks. So for the actual lamps I need, uh, so we can make a stack of these, so we, now we're going to need a, I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, six stacks of glass panes. Okay guys, so whilst I was off camera, I decided to redo, there we go, we've got four, my calculations, because uh, I get pretty stressed for some reason whenever I'm trying to do that on camera, and I completely buggered up, so I know that I only needed two and a quarter stacks of glass now to make the right amount of, um, well, what I hope is the right amount of, whatchamacallit, it's glass panes, so let me see, what's the best way of splitting this 48 between 6, I think it's, it's stacks of 7, isn't it, so uh, if I go that, 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 uh, oh, I've added 6 too many for that one, uh, oh god, 1, 2, ah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, to that, and then to that, and then just, uh, whatever, this is not quite right, but it's a way of doing it. Oh, god damn it. Sorry for ruining everyone's lives. <laughs> there we go. There we go. 24 in each. Bang. Six stacks. Oh my god, that took a while, eh? So here we go. Six stacks here, 
and we're going to get and the thing about the inverted ones is that they're on all the time which is pretty awesome so here we go a stack of inverted green lamps so let's make sure we have a pickaxe oh, I've got one over there and let's go start exploring this tree I'm conscious of the time I'm trying to cut down on the length of my episodes slightly not hugely I know there are a lot of people who like 15 20 25 minute episodes but the uh, analytics for my channel says most people kind of tend to watch 15 20 minutes so it does seem silly to have uh, people not watching you know the majority of the videos so I'm gonna try and cut down a little bit not too much try and keep it under 20 minutes we'll see uh, so yeah, let's give you a proper tour of this place. First of all, let's go in. God, sometimes this, uh... Ooh, oh god. How did I not take damage there? That was skills. Come on, hover mode, enable. There we go. So, uh, this is my thing, and I hopefully will be putting barrels and stuff in here. I don't know if we'll have time to do that this episode, but, uh, I'll probably just maybe craft my first barrel, which isn't hard, and then I will show you how they work roughly, and then I will do all the moving next episode. So, let's ignore the zombie there for a moment. You'll notice that because we've updated my default uh, damage indicators have reverted back, I need to work on that again. Anyway, so what I did basically was I painstakingly built this tree around a mountain at first. Then Nipte came in and helped me hollow out that mountain that was inside the tree. Then I split it into two branches and basically kept on going up. What you don't see is that inside here, uh, let me see if I, if I got, if I got, if I got any iron on me for um, those things, shit I knew I forgot something. Right, I'll be back whenever I pick up my shears. So we picked up my uh, efficiency 3 shears here, which still didn't actually last that long. You can see the overall uses are still 238, so I went through two stacks of iron, which some of you may have noticed whenever you look down on my chest that I have uh, a lot of iron, a lot less iron. Just, just on shears. Just on shears. It's been crazy. So let's find a little gap that I didn't mean to leave right here. And I can show you the inside is basically entirely hollow. Now, hopefully, that really won't cause too much difficulties because, as you can also see, I've covered up the tops of the wood with uh, leaves. So, mobs can't spawn on leaves, um, but they can spawn on the wood. So, hopefully, the light level won't be too low. So, I'm going to find areas to place these down in and hopefully light up this thing a bit better. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how that will work. But I'm going to try and show you exactly, you can probably see in the mini-map a little bit of how I kind of built it. I tried to, how can I explain this? I kind of tried to build along the axes of stuff and then fill it in. It's kind of difficult to explain. Um, I tried recording it, but it didn't. It just didn't come out right. Because as you can see, it didn't work well for a time-lapse. Because look, how the hell are you meant to, that would be so jittery sped up, this sort of constant hovering with the the jetpack. Uh, in the future whenever I get better flying methods and once we get the camera studio stuff you're gonna get a lot better time lapses for this uh, but you didn't really want one for this I, I can assure you. So let's go outside again and, and kind of look to see what this looks like. I don't know I'm just kind of placing them semi randomly. Um, let's use our shears and come outside. Come on. Kinda only gonna be useful at night I guess but I hope we can get a, a sort of rough approximation for how it looks. What I think I'll do is I'll start placing them from the outside to make sure that I don't waste too many of them. We've already used 11 ish, or isn't 9? Yeah, we've used about 9. Um, I could have maybe. Let me see, maybe if I place this here and then I can cover it up. That would probably look pretty good like that, wouldn't it? Yeah, that looks pretty good, making sure it's right on the edge. Alright guys, so yeah, well, a bit, and then afterwards, once I filled in all the leaves, I realized that the branches I built in the middle, which I will try and show you now by going in through this gap, are kind of lost. Um, you kind of lose them, see, because they're, you know, inside here, like, you just don't see those those two at all. So I built some extra branches along the outside. Um, I don't really care about losing these leaves. Um, so let's just place some more of these. Uh, try not to disturb the overall look of the place. Uh, maybe keep doing this until it's night time. Oh, that looks really good, actually, with it displayed. Maybe I should try and... Maybe I should try and... Uh, what's the word? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Oh, bugger. Oh, well. I, I guess I ran out of power. But I was in hover mode. I shouldn't have... That, doesn't, that's never, that hasn't happened before. Usually whenever you're in hover mode, you just... Um, I like that, actually. I like the way they're displayed. Usually when you're in hover mode, you just... Uh, 
sick down, even if you've run out of fuel. Oh well. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just, what I'll show you is get all this stuff together and actually craft a, um, craft a, craft a barrel, just to show you guys what the barrels do. And we will come back to you next time, whenever we've got all our stuff together. So just let me get this stuff to all gathered up, and then get myself some barrels crafted. Jellyfishes are a bitch. Anyway, let's. We can't even eat the baked potato. Where are we? I don't even know if I've got everything. But anyway, yeah, I did. I did run out of power. Um, we want to start crafting uh, some barrels. Do I have an axe on me? Of course not. Of course not. I could get some wood though. Um, but I don't want to risk breaking that tree. Back again. Okay, so we obviously haven't lit this place up well enough, so I need to be careful with that. The last thing I want here is a creeper. Let's get this shit. Um, where the hell is not lit up though in this place? Look how many torches there are. Anyway, whatever. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm probably going to be running barrels, probably around maybe like sort of the topish here, I think, and then chests along the bottom. But anyway, let's show you the recipe for a barrel because I actually don't know it off by heart. Um, so we need oak, like not oak. We need wood topped with a slab. So it's dead dead simple. So what I'll do is just get some slabs. Let's what's the if we do two more, it's twelve so we can get a decent amount. Uh, let's get open our thing and split that into uh, three to four like as in you know what I mean. Wow it's a lot. And let's start crafting some barrels. Uh, probably not as many required as I'm currently about to craft. Uh, let's get about eight for now I guess and put these back in here and these are really nifty so if I let's say let's place them It'd be nice to place them quite high so we could get two rows but let's let's place the first one there right now I'm not a hundred percent sure how to put these in the first time but we're gonna put these leaves in I think I just right click on it and there we go we've got one stack 64 now these barrels can take 64 stacks and it's possible to upgrade them so it, they're really, really nifty. Uh, right, I'm gonna just be careful here. I'm being so terrified of breaking this entire tree. Not only would it make me cry, but it would lag the entire place out. <laughs> so we're gonna just place the barrels around this bit, and I mean, I know some of them will be exposed, but yeah. So yeah, guys, we've got some really cool. Oh, we've got some really cool storage systems on the go now. So I'm gonna deck this all out with barrels but next time we come back I'll have all my stuff over here and we will start to move our base this isn't our base this is our storage room let me explain what I'm gonna do with the base this beautiful marine here is going to be my view I'm gonna have to try and make sure that that gets updated boy GNR get out of cheat mode you moron but anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a beautiful semicircular glass front there with sort of built into the mountain uh, an exposed glass window and lots of beasts surrounding it so the Garzilla the one from my intro probably gonna go on my old island now um, we're gonna have a lot of like roads and probably maybe eventually teleport links to them all this is my plan anyway lots of light lots of room to build in this island really happy with the first project the morning wood and we're going to uh, because you know we're mourning the death of the spider maybe and then we got to work on the spider uh, a few things I want from you guys I want some feedback as to whether or not you like the sort of you know the picture in picture and the slightly more world tour type idea uh, slightly more like um, you know kind of like here's me doing my thing and this is what I did in the in, in the interim kind of an idea I love it personally like I really love it and I would love to keep going in that vein uh, but if you don't then I will move back to slightly more let's play stuff and another thing I want from you guys is if you like the video please like the video because I really appreciate it all right guys I've been Gar and thank you very much bye <laughs>